Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now let's say you have an old system like this one. It features a 300 watt PSU and I've gone and installed an RX 560 inside of it, but there's a problem. A card like the RX 560 will not run on such a low spec PSU that only outputs something like 300 watts. In fact, AMD recommend a 400 watt PSU as well as a six pin connector for a card like this. So what do you do? Well, the sensible option would be to upgrade that power supply in order to install something a little more powerful. But imagine for a second that this is one of those old Dell, HP or Lenovo pre-builts with funny shaped components. You know, it's got a PSU that's an odd shape, so you can't upgrade that. And the motherboard is of a different form factor than you're used to as well. So you can't stick that in a new case. What do you do then? Well, the next sensible option would be to find something like a GT1030 or 750Ti that you can then stick in this system to play a few of your favourite games with fairly respectable settings. But let's say you're feeling a little bit risky like a couple of my Twitter followers obviously are. Now I got a suggestion that I should try one of these little boards here. What this does is it allows you to connect a second PSU to your system in order to power the graphics card separately if your main PSU doesn't output enough power. Now this is a very bad idea in my opinion. I don't care how safe people say these little things are in some reviews that I've read. To be honest, as a long-term solution, I really wouldn't recommend this. Although for a little bit of fun, I'm going to be trying it out anyway to see if it's actually reliable and can hold our system together while it does something intensive like play a game or so for an hour. So. All you do with this is you take a Molex connector from your primary PSU and plug that connector to the board as well as take the secondary PSU here and hook up the 24 pin connector to the other side. When you turn on your PC you'll find that both PSUs now power up thanks to the short that's created among the uh, cables. I'm not really electronically clever so I don't know how it works but I think it's a simple factor of shorting two cables that allows these to power on together. You can see where I'm coming from when I don't feel that it's really that safe. Now you'll notice that everything powers up just fine because of the external secondary PSU that's now connected. So what I thought I'd do here would be to jump into crisis for an hour or two to see how well this system holds up stability wise. And I have to say it did pretty fine. I mean, I experienced no issues. It was a pretty quiet system overall. And I've heard that a few miners or perhaps server system builders used this method in order to power up multiple PSUs. Personally, as I mentioned before, I really wouldn't recommend it as a long term solution. But if you want to perhaps test the performance of your brand new graphics card with your system to check that there's no bottlenecks, something along those lines, then it may be a worthy investment if it's just five pounds or seven to eight dollars that you're spending in order to test out how it runs with the rest of your system. Now before little boards like this existed, people were using things like paper clips to short two pins together in order to power up two PSUs at once. Again, that does work, but it's probably even less of an ideal solution than this little board here is. And so I'd recommend that even less although you can find tutorials for yourselves here on YouTube for that sort of thing. As for this video and this little board well it's been a lot of fun to play about with and I'm surprised it actually worked. The on and off switches were actually uh, mislabeled so you had to have it in the off position in order for it to power on but aside from that it worked pretty well. So there we have it guys I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been a little bit different but I just had to check this out for myself after one of you guys mentioned it. Thanks for watching and I hopefully see you all in the next one.